I'm speaking right now with Stefan Lorenzen, the president of Volvo Group North America. Great to have you here on the set of AutoLine. Thank you, John. It, for our viewers who don't know, explain briefly, what's the difference between Volvo car and Volvo truck? Well, we have the same history, we have the same culture, we have the same um, uh, common values together. But what we arrived to in 1999 was a strategic decision to sell Volvo cars to focus on commercial vehicles instead. So Volvo Group today consists of trucks, construction equipment, bus, Penta, marine engines, and aircraft engines. Uh, in the U.S. market, certainly, heavy truck sales have really fallen off in the last couple of years. W what's your outlook for the market here in this year and looking forward? Well, the, the only thing we can say for sure that that it will change. In which direction, we don't know. There's too many uncertainty factors. So it's hard to predict what will happen, actually. And you've got Volvo brand name and Mack Truck as part of uh, Volvo Group. We acquired the icon of North America in terms of brands. That's the Mack brand in 1999 when we sold Volvo cars to Ford Motor and then we bought uh, Mack Trucks, yes. Even though truck sales, heavy truck sales are, are down in the U.S. market, what about the rest of the world? What's that market it's look like? Pretty successful. Uh, if you look at Europe, for instance, it's quite good, especially in the central and eastern parts of Europe due to the GDP growth and all that. You know, GDP growth and transportation goes hand in hand. The same goes for Asia, China, India. Uh, sales are quite up dramatically. And we do have a slight problem here in North America, that's for sure. Yeah. But globally, it's enough to offset the downturn it, here. It, it is. If you look at your result, the turnover development, the profit development and all that, you can see that it's offsetting the problem that we have here, yeah. You know, I'm really impressed by how much Volvo is growing. When I look at your, your sales, your earnings, uh, your employment even, it, it's just going up and up and up. And I guess my question is, is that organic growth that you're doing internally or is it acquisitions? Well, since 1999, when we sold for, uh, Volvo Cars to Ford Motor Corporation, we have made almost 20 major acquisitions. Wow. But it's, it's, it's a combination of organic growth and these acquisitions, that's for sure. What we have done is that our strategy is pr pretty easy, is that, that we consolidate our product development cost and all that into one big unit, and then we add on new revenue streams and new brands. So by working in a more productive way, we cut our cost, and since we add on brands and customer bases, we increase our sales. I, w I was interested to see uh, Nissan Diesel is now part, part of uh, the Volvo Group. So th that must have given you a, a big footprint in Asia. Absolutely. Not only that, we also have uh, this week announced that we have a joint venture with Kaiser in, in India. Mm -hmm. and, and we also have some joint venture in China together with some other partners. So the footprint in China is quite good already today, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oil prices, as you know, are skyrocketing right now. How's that affected uh, heavy truck sales, not, not just in North America, but globally as well? Well, I, 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 as I said to you just before we met here, that the, the, uh, the, the statistics here in the United States states that almost 45,000 trucks is out of service in the beginning of this year due to the, the, the high oil prices. And it will affect us, and it, it affects us, that's for sure. But at the same time, you know, Trade are increasing, GDP growth is increasing, the need for transport is always there. So by all means it hits us, but not to that extent that everything goes down, no. It's very interesting uh, with oil prices going up, with CO2 legislation hitting in so many places. Volvo's really looking at having what I guess you would call green trucks. Talk a little bit about what you've been working on. Yeah, there, there's three steps when it comes to the the, the green truck strategy. First of all is to make sure that the diesel engine that we have today works in efficient and very efficient way. And it will. It does already and it will do so in the, in, in the future as well. Next step, is to, next step is to utilize alternative fuels. And you can do that in different ways with alternative different fuels. And we were here in Washington in March this year and actually the American President, Mr. Bush, uh, um, uh, were there in our booth and talked to our CEO and President Mr. Leif Johansson about this alternative technologies that we presented. And on top of that, then the next step is to go over to hybrids. And, and we are developing hybrids by ourselves. We do have the technology when it comes to alternative fuels already here. What we now ask is the society or the fuel suppliers to make sure that there is an infrastructure for those kind of alternative fuels. That's a great point because Volvo, even though it's such a large truck manufacturer, cannot dictate what fuels will be used anywhere in the world. No. You'll build whatever the world wants to have uh, the fuel to Customer be. Customer demands. Right. Yeah, we have to adapt to that, that's for sure. It's very interesting, too, for me to hear that 
you know, of course, on, on the passenger car side, we talk about hybrids and diesels and all that, but you're doing the same in the heavy trucks. That's and just I, amazing. Uh, what we do have is a win-win situation, and perhaps a little bit different to car industry. We have always been under this fuel efficiency pressure because our customers, our operators, they would like to have a very fuel efficient kind of vehicle. So that is something that we have always been working with. But today we can also see due to the, the climate change and all that, uh, that there is a win-win situation not only for the operators but also for the society and we are, pre we, are, we, are, we are willing to take that challenge and you know offer that kind of products. How far out before we see a hybrid semi-truck? Uh, I, I, they are already there today you know using different suppliers. Uh, from our point of view and the hybrid technology that we are working with it, we call it the second generation. I would say three, four years from now, mm -hmm. not more than that, not more than that. Well, it's going to be fascinating watching all that develop, Stefan. Thanks so much for coming on uh, AutoLine here and Thank talking all about what Volvo Group is doing. Thank you so much.